Um, All right, hey, we're starting. Um, yeah. I need actually need a second. second. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I need <laughs> Move this slightly over. I don't know what this is or who it belongs to. Uh, okay, I just moved it like slightly yeah, over. Yeah, that's fine. Awesome, thank you. Oh, I, I clearly made a mistake in the first set, but this is fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> We've all made choices. Advantage when it's healthy costs are going to rise past your trending tossy. Then uh, two twelve rest and increase your two percent of fast and forty-year non profit group and license data to us when you have other press we could be at the cost when it increases out basically kind of wide prices in the market to come return the book following increases uh, that are same because of Medicare had uh, cat that high uh, accounts for eighteen percent of economic activity increase well for the strength governance of poison households that crosses growth versus inequality premiums so aggressive taxes progressive policy CT Chris for in eighteen the way we fix that's when anybody complains and jack without stripping income medical bills are most common type of that the Gini index increasing and they indicating at least reaches food one point five percent of all your liberty income from the Portisward putting that point two percent versus two point five percent for the wealthiest market regressive pattern at least uh, reducing Comes in extreme property premiums, deductibles, and copayments are not scoping income. Inequality crosses growth the consensus of studies and growth. And uh, two six independent growth is growing below less significant the effects of taking charge of the living economics organization. Finding inequality not five points off GDP in our ranking education, social mobility, and every social development children are less productive, which means lower raises. Second business is better, producing all the cost boost wages, expand shop style, and uh, 12 six premiums are overhead that are searched for a drastic increase. If this could have kind of jumped on its low wage growth, any kind of 70 percent of the super Germany increased wages, creating jobs, or this incentive is going to three point two turn all the words in the healthcare system, keeping a bit of a sink is better than a poor system with training of business lending and insurance. Two single payer will be cheaper to care for the economic care jobs, limited burden of insurance, labor, productivity, and credit the healthcare spending allocate 20 more productive sectors more in 16 better health services back over more health spending got another area that could be more in the zone growth the better health increase the labor spike one of the few robust predictors of growth starting to increase decreasing illness which increased employment improvement since the 70s got a few more two dollars a year to GDP growth is weak now wages and consumer debt sellers in 316 tax and interest reduced deficit about the level of where we are a chimera workers in the critical state quality versus decline saving or changes to lower debt at record levels of the economy funded by debt in the absence of wage growth will be unsustainable waste not rising workers not into a higher income see unemployment still abuse will get cheated out the contractions global order cost nationals for transmission summers in 1221 finding stress and a cash the consequences sweeping and empowering more toxins, populous national sins. The center will hold China without exception if it will give zero low round. We next may be protecting GBC for global consensus, because global response fears. Absorption of surveillance and populism is capable of risk of political doom. The government's rallies toward Mac 5 more than set up here as well. The woods updates the research for China versus nuclear war with Russia and China. The economics in 18. North China, China, Russia. There's nuclear gas and long term ships and geopolitics. We're in military dominance. We're going to lose a lot of the renewable power competition. The president provided China with wealth and transformed sports as Russia. These are certain subplots. Chances have to go to one great zone. Nuclear weapons can be seen. Our political country finds itself under pressure to use Jews and then between losing control and using them. The best guarantee of peace and strong American events would be easy to with America's bad James will go to work with the close to anything. Trump is just as people, although the long term foundations of internationals are remaining attacked brains in 17. In these 70s, or concerns that he was returning over to the end, proved not the death of American power. America's experience in periodic debt rather than fundamental turn away from national taking account long range change. The economic levers is one example of Trump is conservative, but we live through dissolution of work over against the research of the assaults versus only a man in the market basis and contains cost game in 17. Marks don't work enough against the risk of medical deaths from obviously sense patients. Patients don't know the need for a time of information, unavailable asymmetry, and knowledge and consolidation. Increased cost, cost, and lose many to forego or delay care resulting in risk outcomes from the church priorities and revenues against the system, cost, and research, and never deliver for the system marketing the industry itself. To bear the form to be a bit of five percent against for half a lot of money will be here. The expensive segment of risk will set the shift ticker base for some single with a stress risk across all segments. Progressive financing and drug negotiations contain cost game in 17. Single is the only way to go for choice without co payments from insurance. Limited bid for duplicative coverage, much negotiating and pursuing two jobs negotiated funding through progressive tax of 95%. Paying less for absolute limited saving, 5 3 bill, also in reduced overhead, 1 in 13 bill, and less by negotiating drug price savings, providing no cost of payment. The goal that goes to spend 20 million with no position for quite funds, orders to continue to get worse recognition, depersonalization, and norm insurance. Our accident even with us in 70 counties, but only one third is global budgeting. A is a cut out admin, global handlers, and in 18. Investment costing huge, uh, you know, the cost of insurance to uh, provide reduced demand. This is my allocation to investment, regardless of needs for such as determined to get serving well insured kids and filling good services and gaming. You know, payment rules, these raised costs, single payer would automatically equalize coverage with long hospital pay profits and other groups. If I can base programs are uh, gaming, this is my upcoming insurance taking when we reward on data, they will be opposed to as to choose this tax reform daily, which will circumvent the distribution to stop already payments to use only fair care, not profits, means paying operating budget, single payer funding, investment through separate gains. The reason is good with what is why in the TNM is where the uh, price of the Chinese and Africa recommends your property economic status or, is more aspirational food inflation. Spark TNM is how it takes you to get out of control. Watch out as you will lash out at Escobar Global Comics, Norse and 17. The uh, party is talking about that adventure as we see once you appear to have the GMC. Sets of restoration of the uh, uh, greatness and areas of comic include Taiwan, India, the SAS, Philippines, and Vietnam. Uh, even if the job, which they uh, 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 conflict, military interests, and to get trouble, collapse, uh, would get rights to Putin like redemptive figure and see brutal and semi-risk, catastrophic fear, consequences of genetic and natural repercussions, risk, risk, miscalculation with China. Well, we more prone to China's never been liberal, but China integration has been found indicative of China. Changes like the integration, place people can China war goes nuclear, no could change Robert and 17. Cognitive bias and fog war, attribution by success, but in the stretch of measurement, flood escalation rather than negotiating the gamble. Your respect to the nuclear of the use of 
of the standard written escalation is not likely to change between spins will increase this risk of miscalculation and nuclear escalation. The channel will understand a few officials might understand how the time and period initial strikes happens before SR networks would be no decision good to equate Asian nuclear use risk extinction deterrence one check two and seventeen. The text of our nation is temporal conceding relentless and developing India North Korea working out to deliver global nuclear whatever reduce temperatures between fall destroy the ozone even one of the weapons can't save global carrying mass starvation threatening population with increased potential to get weapons mad no longer with scenario two is public health role of public health is key to contain pandemic flu and bioterror might nine are facing chance to meet public health needs to roll America like democracy will America is aging acts and healthcare environment with exposure to spirits required any more flexible rules systems spirits well documented emerging threats such as pandemic influence that are terrorist when it says robust systems that can uniform identify tracking contain threats while working to improve community health and essential elements rural health flu pandemic is a double kill bill and kills billions of home in 18 national 18 to kill one of the men of four times the inhabitants most of people culture and peace living close together put in mutation by being pointed to inaccessible within hours of our spread around the 1918 pandemic because but we've got to take on a global scale search but also the global course of issues so just one split of genetic will will away by a short cross 16 to develop overall defense millet in 17. Risk your price all of future life savings, these events are responsible for greatest deaths. The Black Death was killing over 25% of the pandemic, resulting in extinction in irreversible constant civilization, spread worldwide, overcome resistance, evade detection, and countermeasure environments, and trade off arguments to not rule the possibility other instances of human being, of pop populations being uh, wiped out. The disease is exhibited 100% fatality, the disease can reach over 95% of its as low. The disease is like my trace of liberty, completely separate subject to cutting edge uh, development and aerobiology, non sectors, exposed to risk with homicidal aims. Market solutions can't solve single pairs. He's Stanley and AC and a universe comes to the end of the AC and the rural areas, and churches have been less financial, so if you have a defense resident, have a special time finding coverage to single Charter counties make up more than half the bill. The tax bill makes up many which have passed out of county insurance rates. Passes are exit expect 13 million fewer with insurance and 10% higher premiums. Gather market based risk towards a single pair. Oh, I'm fast. Healthcare prices will rise. Uh, healthcare prices rise. Smith 18. Health spending is going faster than the economy. CBO doesn't agree that the growth is under control. Expenses is dominated by salaries. Wages grow exponentially, exponentially slowly before the recession. At four percent, that collapse to zero does not get recovered. The economy recovers. Expect salary growth for the rest of the pick up and cost growth to resume faster than the economy. Awesome, that heard of. says, first of all, they rely largely on imports from Why? U.S. production. Why? For what food? For what food? For what I actually food? don't know what, guess, okay. what, what food do they need well, from Pork those? is one of the main ones. We, well, we're China China has oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meat production. Well, no. Well, first, if the U.S. prices rise, then it causes prices in China to rise. So even Why? if they Why? get increased what? capacity, because no, markets no, no, are no, back, back, back up, back up, back up. If the price of food in the U.S. rises, why doesn't that make it comparatively easier to buy food in Because China? food the markets are interlinked, i.e. the fact that China imports from the U.S. Yeah. means that small supply disruptions in the U.S. can spike international prices. Uh, can, I, can I see the card about imports from the U.S. to China? Yes. I don't think you have one, to be clear. I just want to make sure what you think you have. No. Uh, Nazios. And, Const Const and Constable. Uh, if poor Constable is not, definitely not about the U.S. No, it is about Nazios. Uh, it's about Germany and Japan, not about China so, so at all. The, the all thing right, is, even, even if you win that like China here. has some productive capacity, our evidence says because rural hospitals are such an important backdrop, or rural economies yeah, are such an important backdrop for back food on supply, uh, it would cause a price. Oh, the wages wages internal here. link on the other advantage is the internal link reducing costs or removing employer-provided insurance entirely. What? In order to solve your wages thing, is it about removing employer-provided insurance entirely or just about decreasing costs? Yeah, it's about eliminating the multiplayer system. Eliminating the multiplayer system. Got yeah. it. Uh, progressive financing. How does it work? Uh, it's a tax. Progressive it's on what? Progressive tax. On income? On, uh, on payroll, payroll and capital gains. How progressive? Uh, like, yeah, it was, I mean, the, the, the specific things like, so on incomes making more than like $200,000 a year, I'm pretty sure it's like 6%. Don't quote me on this. We'll read a card if you need us to like qualify it. Yeah, There's going to be a uh, Tobin tax on um, capital gains, so like people okay. who are trading. Got so. it. The TOSI evidence, which is the healthcare cost rising card, says that uh, healthcare costs have decreased but will begin to increase again. What will cause the no, increase? No, no, no. It, what? Because evidence says that there has been a deflation in healthcare costs in the past, but now they're going to start rising again. Yeah. What will cause that increase? The increase in salaries, which are happening, so doctor salaries will pick up as the economy Why do you rises. Pay so, so, and the, well, the, so one important internal link is the value-based stuff. Our evidence understood. is because uh, hospitals are reimbursed based off of value, physicians gain the system by artificially inflating the, val the value that they provide to the uh, patient without actually, you know, using the best services and methods, etc. That's causing cost. All right, short seconds. We're gonna pray.
down. The goddess. Well, however, however, will we answer no, there? <laughs> Say, however, will we answer their labor productivity internal link? It's not as though I think we've read that exact card in our one AC. Keeping posted on the decision. Okay. Um, it's six econ rural hospital. Rate-setting counter from the United States federal government to establish all payer rate-setting for the goal of budgeting and administered by an independent by person federal commission the United States health care costs and large community is dance after the hospital control the same thing from the same province of the health after the local budget to give the total revenue to the district and the store is not our policy. We have to have the terms of cost all payer reduces overheads and bills after the lower cost rate. Flow back to the smaller premiums. Stacks off of the midterms is set down to win. The midterms are worried about half the cost. They say the GDP roughly to of the average of 10 over 100 seven to consider the cost of the contract values are definitely for the average of big blue and sickness and the group of chocolate marriage and some average group and time and function that we can see health care better responsibly for hospital the field. Because alternative to the provider, she said the health care rights to begin the best health care rights. The idea is well, a group of large health people like president of the group that plays for their voters means that we should be the the majority as well. And the public expects a death wave now. Failure means they'll assume Russia hacks the election, sparks mass controversy over the election's legitimacy. Seven, three, three, the popular scene has been proposed in fabric. Then you don't like the remaining public significant numbers. Well, there's a death wave to have a big mutation. Public is very excited for the bomb that is not easy. So there's a false and wrong usually counts, which are weighed by that material as an absolute human rights return to the Russian medical device. Which is the public's position in relation to this one in Trump. I want to spoil the worst of Russia breaks you below the line. You're still worried about flesh and Trump's over the average time of the White House. The system that lies probably are expected to have a legitimacy trump. And since this thing needs to have a side effects of average made up for some position, such as there is an election to find itself, that forces Trump to defend the election's legitimacy back and forcing Russia extinction. Taylor, 17, that the legitimacy of the first century is a high seat for the best of confidence with the lower test for legitimacy. The people are still going to be done by the media balance. The people who tell people that they're going to be served with the service of Trump and the bell turn around from the repression of the Russian source and the rude touch of the bell single out simply. Next time, the bell turn around the Trump assembly and the people who are going to be used to demonstrate that we must have the source of Trump and the bell to the best of death. Legitimacy links to the Trump will have a new lawyer from the poets that they've been talking about that are dispelled with little cancers for Russia. Next up is the uh, managed care plan. The United States federal government should establish fee for service reimbursement for Medicare and Medicaid and require all private payers to follow fee for service reimbursement. Next up is the progressive financing pick. Using progressive financing, the United States federal government should establish a single payer for health insurance that a uh, single payer for health insurance that eliminates compayments and taxes using the low budget operating budgets to pay providers and people how they have been funding. Single payer progressively solves the case because the overall system's effects are progressive, even though financing isn't, and only the counter plan makes taxation good for the economy. Matthews 15 liberals need a tax bank for the of the world for the potential social liberation of your property taxes to be honest with the average of these higher budget clearly these are tax budget metabolism and something more that can those tax deficits because they could have to be dealt with time and building limits and tax limits and universal with the use of the the program service tax easy three taxes and those that are willing to see the offer of your own use of the the taxes the way to make the special tax rates of seven two but much more than three years after cost of progressive they can't better chance for everything but also since they can bring the lower cost because of the personal results and progressive because the tax and progressive gains because the older countries are originally left the original tax rate those who better those who lower cost their state but increase the taxes to their percentage tax to the obvious way fine due to the progressive effect of the numbers of I'll take it next up is the um, taxes you said.
Responding single parent through progressive taxation, post mass law, trying to employ targets of feedback scanning, medically to come through, but it really happens with the least amount of the initial unit strategy, but the special culture of the term would be, she doesn't know what it is, he's forcing the stress of living, no, what would you really do, Charlie, what would you do, the special community tax, between 20 cities, and the difference of price, rock, and the one-two parents, and we're talking about the people with the tax, the difference between the two, the three, the two, the three, 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 the three,
about midterms. Uh, what piece of evidence do you have that says that voters would still blame the election swinging on Russia after the passage of a major health care policy like the app? Well, that's no, I think you've misunderstood our argument. The, the argument is that health care happens that causes an unexpected dem, or uh, causes uh, the dem wave to yeah. the, unex, the, I guess, the unexpected Republican victory. Uh, it would still be unexpected because a lot of people think that there's a dem wave now. Like, well, no, no, no. So, so the card says if the election switches, people will blame it on Russia meddling in the election. Anybody who still voted for Democrats after the plan. Yeah, no, if, if, if you're that, right, if, how many times he tweets if you're right about the link the Democrats are and investigating him. healthcare is the thing that motivates a swing in turnout, why would those people then say, oh, Russia must be the cause of this? So Chris just answered that. I think another thing to understand about voters is like most voters aren't like nitpicky or particularly smart about the issues that drive elections, but right. they do know that they think there's a dead uh, wave coming right the now. The impact evidence is about Russia meddling in the 2016 election. How would this time That's be at all? That's not different? true. The evidence explicitly says that if Trump, if the, there would be a GOP wave right, or victory right now, that that second victory would be enough to cause a complete freakout. So the first time, you know, wave. everyone's just like kind of okay with it? No, I think it said that the first time Trump was able to minimize the problem. Disappointed Trump opponents believe the worst that Russia rigged two elections, the anger could risk backlash. The White House has been minimizing the problem. Preoccupied Why couldn't they do it again? Okay, I actually have a different question. Uh, the like okay. wage inflation stuff on yeah. case, the interest rate stuff. Yeah. Um, do you think you have a piece of evidence that investors on renewables look to like one year time horizons for their investments or like, you know, a couple month time horizons on their investments? Our evidence says that re investors are taking advantage of cheap, easy money, which is dependent on low interest rates. If rates get higher, that means that that money's not cheap. Yeah, for but a like long for a period little of time. bit, right? No, for like a reasonable period of time. How long do you think a rate hike would affect investments in renewables, realistically? Pretty darn long. Pretty darn long. Uh, the, what renewables do you think are coming now? Sorry, I didn't mean to be crass or whatever. I mean, our I think our evidence is that a number of renewables are getting invested in right now. Solar, wind. Number of them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you think the Schultz, the Schultz evidence is about 10 degree Fahrenheit warming? Yeah. Do you think you have evidence that a short-term investment in renewables is necessary for that? Renewables solve warming for a lot of reasons. They decrease Lots US emissions, they decrease global emissions. If they're scaled up effectively, okay. obviously investments necessary. I want to talk about the link to the interest rate, or to the uh, like, redistributive uh, financial deregulation DA. Sure. Uh, this says, the closest I think this gets to Trump would cause deregulation is Bill Clinton, Tony Blair, and Gordon Brown succumb to the temptation deregulating Wall Street. Do you think you have a piece of evidence that post-plan there would be financial deregulation. Yes, our evidence is about progressive taxes and the use of progressive taxes. I, I understand, even like Clinton. Most liberal and moderate Democrats agree to deregulating to widen the. I don't tax know if you can take attention. Donny T is president. Like he's so down for financial deregulation. Yeah, that's our that's business. our argument. I think. So why wouldn't you do it now? It's being limited now because of Congress. Right. It's Congress. Yeah, we have a bunch of huge cards. Brett. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know if it's coming back right now, so who knows. I'll get water for half an hour. Little break party. Men. Really good card that's like recession is solved. I also love how, like, like, this is obviously just not responsive. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is, that is, like, that is, that's our argument. I said I could stand wall for real. Like, I think they think we were Dito. <laughs> You're not gonna be like, no, you can't set up the stand. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Do you just need to, like, make it a bunch taller? Yeah. yeah. I've been hoarding two stands in my apartment, completely brand new, and so we broke one of our stands for this time. <laughs> it's still like the, the leg upon opening the stand was just like totally like janky and like didn't work. Obviously. Also the TSA like inevitably was just like, what's this? Yeah. It's like, They're very got me. stands. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. When I was uh, judging Baylor versus Georgia round four, uh, Baylor, Greg, like, uh, he's like, uh, hey, can I, like, he's on sand for the two and and, like, takes it and, like, starts setting it up, and then, like, it just, like, collapses. Like, wow. And, and like, you know, there's, like, no harm or whatever, but he's just, like, and then he, like, tries to fix it and just, like, can't figure out, and just, like, hands it back to them and is, like, sorry, guys, and then just, like, takes out their own sand <laughs> on the table. Just carefully you trust. <laughs> Responding to a Snapchat that Allison just sent me of ice cream with a stick. I thought that was appropriate. <laughs> she sent me a picture of ice cream with a flame emoji, so I'm just responding with a picture of you with a flame emoji. Did she hear? No, she she had a bio test that she couldn't miss on Monday. Yeah. All right. The economy advantage. Their real health advantage. The rate sitting counter plan. The fee for service advantage counter plan. The progressive tax pick. The taxes to set. The deregulation to set. And midterms. One sec. Is everything conditional? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was a nice. Nice. Nine flat. Nine what? Nine flat. Okay. Yeah. Well, you take out all the dissets, it's going to read. <laughs> yeah. You never know. I'm okay. um, sorry. After deregulation, it's midterms? Yeah. And that's it? Yep.
Economic crisis shred the world order, the power vacuum with the war curious world, China, Russia, the gray zone, uncertainties, and CC vulnerabilities, force nuclear escalation, nuke winters, existential to summer, economists, and the Turkow evidence economy is not strong now, growth is weak, tax reforming, slow the deficit, consumer debt, and structural unemployment. That's the Salas evidence, which is much more recent. Healthcare costs are not growing, are, are key to the economy. Inequality is key to growth. Our Ingram evidence is much more recent. It's, a, it's like the consensus study says that it lowers educational attainment and decreases wages. Healthcare costs growth now, they're just back profits, which is the reason why healthcare costs are increasing. Our Tosin Smith evidence much more recent says that there's inflation driven by salaries now, their wage just said our internal link is much larger to the economy. One inequality, crushed wages, social media. This Christopher and Amber and two is competitors. Premiums are overhead. The cut in wages, entrepreneurship, and investment with seventy percent of consumer spending. That's deal three's crowd out and misallocates investments on productive sectors. Economy, unrighted labor productivity. This is the Molloy evidence. The, the interest rates makes make no sense. The conservatives think single payer is bad for the economy, so we Powell wouldn't raise it. And they're wrong about the links back out. And three three, that Phillips curve has been thoroughly discredited. Not wrong, but wrong head. Inflation says sign the monetary authorities are in taking the these little uncertainty that the council talks about. Autonomy in the Fed decision crisis. Generally, at the dollar where they want to price hikes on outdoors. And two five, the inflation trend. The uh, unexpected inflation just there's something new. The inflation year will change. response. Uh, that's a Solving the Fed under new management, adding surprise. Another fourth high, the price price or pressure shows the new unemployment indicators suggest there's no capacity. We see the extra rate rise, rate rising rates are good for rest. Rest in 323, the higher rates may be a good thing. Global funds here is wrong as the hunger for borrowing the credit can always be created. Higher rates will increase the problem. Margin economy is moving. Inflation the Fed will hike the rate to tap the brakes. If the sluggish will cut the rates of the economy, can shelter higher rates. The shocker becomes we have a lot of rooms to grow. That when the rates start to the downturn, it's because the Fed got trigger happy. When the economy see the higher rates are bad, they might as well be saying the healthy economy is bad. They're warning the process to deliver more jobs, wages, and growth. There's simply not be more backwards. Single payer doesn't cause it. The rise in 17, the economy rates very deep. Hold is to absorb two trillion dollars. That's marking inflation. The Medicare we're all short while we work and the deficit spending for hundreds of billions with hundreds of billions of little inflation economy improves the tax return to go up the deficit close keeping the economy for overheating health costs already triggered that thousand all the cards above the renewable stuff rates are in a key has been and one one of the solution and transition continues sustaining the world's rising taxes the revenue and residual operating life the risk of packaging into investment selling limited parties that better manage place the mental equity investor lower way to cost the capital of renewables avoid the disruption as rates rise renewables can't sell climate over ADLT alternative sources of offer from ready from taking the fossil fuels are in the cheapest even 24 renewables only a more expensive sweeping transition is the equivalent of believing the Easter bunny fall the pierce for fulfilled it will be five one point five percent adaptation intervening checker actors check the impact to warming and Trump overwhelms it because he revolts through awesome pairs and other things. Now the rural health of, uh, the rural health advantage is not resilient. There stuff about total hospital profits, not rural health, which is being killed by the value value care right now. Conglomerates aren't able to solve rural health is uniquely key because it caps flight and sustains jobs. That's uh, the Alman evidence. But yes, food wars are too old. Price spike calls refugee flows ramping coups. Uh, strategic interest force U.S. drawn this nasty evidence. Yes, the U.S. is key. A B U S A in one aspect. The core expert of China Hayes points out that the statistics show the rapid increase in the shop numbers in China. The market drift. The production is stable. The China is comfortable importing three million tons per year. All evidence says it's generally interconnected. Proving my past price. Mr. Shocks, uh, price shocks. The poverty doesn't solve poverty. It causes an impact before the wage rise and farmers sell off assets. Seven nine. The spike in food prices could have long-term negative effects. There are clear links between higher prices and a maltradition with health space with large negative shocks. Sell the productive assets of seasons. Thousand lives like jeopardizing future earning perspective. Higher inflation hurts the poor the most. Uh, it hurts the, the the poor the most. And let's see what else is here. Yes, there is escalation. Doesn't assume that new leadership transition with with, with, with new leadership with changes with China. Rural health is key to key 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 to bioterrorism because of the gaps in protection. Their defense doesn't assume new tech advances, which are over overcome with it. The CCP is not resilient from 2015, and some middle of evidence does say conclude that tech can be overcome. The rates of the counter plan. Perm do both. Perm to the counter plan. Links to the benefit. It constrains profits. It can't solve the Apple and the multi-payer system. Admin costs forfeit billions. Can't break provider monopolies and private insurance games. The system. This guy in his list in Maryland proves McCain and 117 did not find evidence. Maryland's gold budget program says the reductions in the user increase in primary and per user are increasing the primary care visits and isolated policy within the highly dysfunctional private and multi-payer system. When adding to the dysfunctional system, little benefit will be having because fundamental defects will remain intact. Every sector reinforced to be the single payer can't work too many. We uninsured, uninsured. We need to uh, end this nonsense and spoon policy. Move towards forward, 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 forward. Single payer. The fee for service counter plan. Perm do both. Perm to the counter plan. And all the net benefits because it causes a political firestorm and hurts the economy. The CP makes zero sense. We're not just fee for service for global budgeting, which is not in the counter plan text. And if it's still within the multi payer system because they have private insurance, it doesn't solve any of the admin bloat, which prevents cost savings. That's the wool hand revenue. It's a progressive bit. Perm do both. If they're right, the back can sustain funding, then we don't need massive progressive taxes. Perm do the counter plan. And all net benefits, political firestorm, and hurts the economy, and lead to deregulation. Only taxing wealthy solves inequality. That's key to growth. That's all the one he sees. And more evidence, Simon. In Brazil, 15, the growth along the Great Recession, and sluggish research takes that helps explain why the economic drop in decades income inequality results widely discussed. Rise of income inequality, houses falling behind this income inequality risk that prevent from the study of the recovery of recession. Recession has the demand growth that, that could be expected as a result of rising inequalities in the U.S. economy. The Chinese economy is underperforming. The main problems on the demand side, the U.S. needs to boost demand growth or reversing inequality. It is important to get the economy very back. I'm going to be back on the right track. Our evidence is about how we pay for the plan, not just for the reductions and costs of the plans. They say they result in a bad that reduces their productivity and permanently slows growth through the attempt. Adding that to the tax currently in place permanently slows the use of economic growth about transfer billions for the productive private hands, less efficient public sector, low standard living result in adding bad revenue, political reasons, politicized allocation, less efficient that we can the economy over again. Wait, but we can the incentive to work about cost prices to increase reducing the ability to purchase goods and services. A bad is reduce the, the work effort in output in incomes, condos, voters, excuse me, strategy, shotgun,
said, premiums outweigh the tax increase. Businesses foot the bill now. Single payers, admin, and drug savings decrease expenses that steal and gaff. The international examples disprove certain fourteen. The businesses bills would be lower. The taxes and would be mitigated with no longer to pay the premium. Single payer insurance equity business will protect business. Argument the tax keeping business here. Like by examples from the world, Hong Kong is speaking in capitalism. Healthcare, so does Denmark, which has higher levels of entrepreneurship. Doesn't hurt growth. The on seventeen. The Warren Moody said that tax policy center holding the commercial has a weakling between the taxes and growth. He changed throughout the history with no observable shift in the rate. The nineteen fifty importantly higher tax growth average two percent consistent with the rate of study the tax bill supercharge offshoring goes the other way. Bernstein seventeen the tax cut the more offshoring territory taxation between the tax on overseas become zero. The firms are already flush with earnings if they wanted to invest more. They could do so. The investments like lesser not like legitimate executives. Yeah, top the uses of debt back back their section due to the mergers reform and incentive companies to move overseas. The capital flows reserve the dollar making export less competitive. Implying loss of millions of jobs. App solves health costs larger and trolling to military offering L and fifteen the lucky interest interested lowering health care costs out of control cost the building the problem competing in the competitors in Europe in Europe the government shoulders the cost the third offset doesn't solve the competitiveness bill clearly seventeen the third offset can become the new military budget to justify the new programs the offset has been so scarce to mention when you get married you don't hang a picture of your old girl from the new administration places this focus on the Islamic state and spend less on modernization manufacturers not keep hedge all the military capabilities already been built up and they're um and the app is a larger internal link because of the economy and retrenchment now the deregulation is that it doesn't cause economic crisis with all seventeen using right now day three point we see long term trend of regulatory expansion there is no decrease in regulatory restrictions leading up to the crisis on the country the crisis proceeded by four I guess the settling increasing regulations no lane Trump's already gonna do what he can to promote economic inequality the plan doesn't change that calculus that was all in cross X lens a hack who brought in ten there is essentially right wing talking points that will make so many mistakes appears he's incapable of reading this is a double turn of the taxes is that successful that regulation would prevent offshoring because it increases the businesses comp competition abroad roll back it off Frank Thompson only three fifteen the Congress went for another financial crisis and approving the provision of Frank that bill actually favors the huge players not remotely a small business bill that asked partially financed by a tax on financial transactions PNHP sixteen that a tax of point five percent on trades and point one percent of Manchester you have maturity transactions bond swaps and trades that solves solves the impact of deregulation for slot seventeen the flash crisis is the direct result of hyper security there's this tax on trading will bring strength to the the markets and opposition making calls for the obfuscation strategy used by the tobacco IMF points out the transaction taxes are feasible no internal link tax revenue doesn't block to do a and a lot of them grabbing warnings about the taxing of the rich leads and sorry for the boss but no but adds up despite volatility longer term trends demonstrates a well known fact the higher earners have consistently been the households where the tax revenue is going to be make it easily and more reasonably found the midterms is that grab me that indicted dork in the single period that answers Trump backlash and candidates matter more than health policy all men 18 the elections are unlikely about the health care more likely more more likely about candidates and Trump the health is in the news so the public's more likely to pick the communist doing well the health ranks high. it doesn't mean the voters will bit more likely to highly feel about the candidate that I'm just gonna assume that they means repealing or replacing no single issue voters people are ideological vote on party lines the GOP will win Russian medals elections average three three of them way by not materials good economic news but the law anti comment centers beyond the gerrymandering impact of them surging around surge made in concentration in cities Russia still is just running this information ample tensions having an impact another pool to find election like 2016 Russian hackers infiltrated service church 122 say officials two swoon black swans molar another porn star another porn star the impact a single pair boost down turn around well in the 17 the single pair slum people are rather rallying around the hazard well the class of work comes the highest 72% of the public is perfectly fine with the government covering the um, coverage the Medicaid may is pretty sure the popular single pair offers them something extremely powerful the manage calls to them maybe they're over so hold themselves to pull them after affirm the reason to get the get excited the universal cover sends a message that establishes a clear, clear contract all their links on the taxes just have proves that if it got tied to Trump then it would be massively unpopular and will not drive turnout their Russia stuff that makes nonsense a it assumes no that votes change because of health care but that no one's intelligent enough to know that happened their link disproves the internal link b it's from about 2016 election c it already um, or, 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 most people believe Russia already had to hold in 12 12 uh, 12, 12 half Republicans voters over 73 the Russia tied effect election overwhelming majority of them 94% said the Russia influence election. Trump's still president, he won't challenge Russia outside. In 227, Bell calling on Trump for the failure of the new Russia. There's something about Putin that our president worship Trump will not act. Um, it wasn't in the DA answer. It's, it's in, oh, I know where it is. Uh, I'm going to read a card and I'll send it all in a sec. Their taxes link depends on Thorpe, who is massively wrong. I'm going to read an author indict right here. Um, my computer can work. Seconds left. Oh, found it. Cool. Uh, Hamilton in 16. The analysis rests on our leverage of the administrative savings only 0.557% based on Vermont and not a fully single payer system. Correct for data from the real world experience about 16.7% understate the savings by by, by by 327 billion early analysis project much larger savings. This increases utilization far beyond those in Canada, much larger given in much larger given the possible sub supply that he projects hundred million dollar additional visits deposit possible given capacity trains. Market capacity. Uh, can you sign that up? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the tax is just said. We got it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna copy and paste this Alright, um, cool. Okay, I, you made a lot of arguments on different pages about the kind of bad 
factors that go into rising healthcare costs, like uh, value-based payments, yeah. admin costs. I just want to make it clear: Do you have to win all of that? You solve all of those to win that you resolve healthcare costs. Are uh, any of those sufficient to drive healthcare costs? The most important out? ones are admin costs. What do you mean, like the most important ones? Well, it's just like you can quantify it because you can see the percentage of admin costs and how much they add. We read fantastic pieces of one IC evidence which said that admin costs and drug prices are the two driving factors. Okay. So, what are the less important internal links, just for the purposes of? Or yeah. less important in terms Yeah, you've said that those are So admin important. costs one, drug prices two, you then doctor right salaries will increase. Okay. Well, no, no, we actually have a card that quantifies it. It's okay. a card from Mark from a JAMA study. So what's the point at which, like, say, like, the first two are solved, the second, the third one isn't solved, do overall healthcare costs still increase in a way that's bad for the economy? Well, it's a still. linear impact. So the more okay. we can decrease healthcare so costs, no, the more we increase wages. Is there any threshold for it? What do you Is, there's is no, there any threshold for You've made an economic yeah. collapse impact. Is yeah. there any threshold for when healthcare costs collapse the economy? Yeah, the well, what do you, the stronger the economy, is, the less yeah, likely it is, is that the U.S. Collapse, is forced yeah. retrenchment. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, <laughs> yeah. the, Our is so your yeah. rural hospitals' uh, internal link to food prices yeah. is that uh, decline in public health causes such bad labor shortages for ag that there's a shortage of food, which causes food prices to to spike. Yeah. Uh, what uh, I guess. I guess if there'd be like public health problems, even if there'd be public health problems as a result of collapse of rural hospitals, why doesn't Tyson just like move its location or start hiring new people or like that, take care of that so that they have who the do labor? They, who do they hire? There's a massive labor shortage. Why wouldn't they just relocate? Because or where hire, are they located? Or like All the people are in cities own. where there's not land to grow stuff. Okay. Um, the so I guess you read a piece of evidence on the deregulation disad. That from the Heritage Institution, I kind of wanted to know about this guy's quals. Other than that, he's an expert in tax policy. Um, or sorry, this is on the Progressive Pick that the VAT oh. at. It's the Dubé evidence. You just have yeah. it as recognized as a leading expert on taxation issues. Heritage. There. We'll and he's talking about how bad it is to take money away from the private sector and put it in the mm. pockets of the big bad. The regulation is in. The Dubé uh, evidence. Oh. That evidence is using yeah. a model which says that the deregulation which happened before the financial no, crisis no, was not the wrong, wrong card. Yes. Sorry. Wrong card. Which the Dubé card? card that that reduces labor productivity. Oh, that card? This yeah. says that it's, yeah, it says yeah. that it's bad. What's what's the student's quals besides the fact that he works for Heritage? He probably or has it? some sort of master's degree. Th 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 this is not here. That's all speculative. But it's they're also studying studies. It's um, like they're, they're qualified. Who, who are higher rates, interest rates good for? Higher interest rates? Who are they good for? Yeah. Well, it's good for the economy writ large. It's an like, indication okay. of Strength. That's a silly. That's a silly argument. Like, no, obviously, it's good for the economy because it's good for some portion of the economy. All of these things are like there are always externalities and like particular actors who they're good for. Like, are they good for investors? Are they good for like consumers? Like, well, come it on. clamps down on inflation, which impacts other people. So, all right, we have nine oh seven. Yeah, I'll grab the cards. I want to grab. It's really good. She said to ask you with the groundhog on your face for the name.
busy drinking his fancy expensive water. Fancy ass water over here. Progressive financing thing. Um, taxes disab. The fee for service advantage counter plan. Uh, the rate setting counter plan. Econ. Well, Sorry, what was the four fee for service kind of thing? Taxes. Okay. Progressive financing <coughs> pick, taxes DA, advantage counter plan, rate setting, econ law. Cool. Regressive taxation, they know that the sustainable welfare state policies require a broad tax base, that everybody buys into in order to fund social insurance that disproportionately benefits the poor. That means even though the financing of the common tax is regressive, its ultimate effects reduce inequality and our overall progress. If the common leverages this key distinction of the plans, progressive financing scheme causes tax evasion and kills growth, which is the reason that, that Scandinavian countries fund their healthcare through value added taxes instead of this open business choice between taxing the rich or establishing a bad as the key question for single power policy analysis. You should reject the impulse to believe solving deficits because the counter makes a lot more sense as a financing mechanism because the tax base is way broader. In Glaciers and 17 plans to find out the cover single barrier reduce your agriculture, but greatly increase. Even different tax rates, different big different ones. Actually, after the management, you need to tax increase value, tax increase value, value tax increase. Choice makes a big difference. Value raises everything. People buy with gold, a little bit of change, change by selling or redeveloping. So, working the cost of value, you pay by everybody. Change by every health insurance. Do tax increases by as you're allowed. Yeah, there's no usual. There's no way to retool. I'm not going to try to finish the trade. I'm not going to have a big one. You need to borrow base. That means that means a bad permutation to both. It's first argument. It's impossible. A the plan says single payer system must be progressive financing with a common assessment. The system must be regressive. Those are conceptually mutually exclusive. B inclusion of the common means the system is no longer net progressive. It it severs the plan's financing mechanism. Fear error and four. Do certain economic processes. Not progressive overall permutation to the counter plan get fucked. It says regressive, not progressive. It's severance, obviously linked to the net benefit. No, it doesn't because it doesn't do progressive taxation or deregulation. The link up is phenomenally specific to when you have progressive taxation and creates a perverse incentive to maintain inequality and increase the incomes of the rich because you need to maintain inequality in order to create a tax base for funding your system. So it's not about political perspective, rather the economic incentive and the economic necessities generated by progressive taxation. All of our evidence says that the VAT and the regressive taxation avoids that pressure. Now it solves inequality. The counter solves because the net effect of staffing universal. Healthcare equalizes economic opportunity, even though the system's financing mechanism is technically regressive. That's Matthews. The one he said, Christopher Card does not say progressive taxation is key. It says co pays and deductibles are the key internal link that to the common has free co pays and deductibles. So it's all that internal link. The gaming card, the one he has one line about progressive financing and does say it's key to inequality. They have read no other cards than one see about progressive financing. You try to be Harvard and you fail. Sorry. Funding benefits through taxes on the middle class, while the inequality better than the redistribution that targets the wealthy. Dorf and Sempin, the U.S. is the most progressive tax income tax system in the United States. Reduce inequality less than countries. The United States reduces progressive taxes. Seeks to reconcile the middle class. Is Linda 12. Progressive one above for saving. You bring double donors. You bring social welfare. Not my own, but receiving. Income tax to be most generous. Provide funding for the income by paying one some tax. Additional way, much more some tax. Expect that you are just tax from the street from class. Progressive one above for saving. Increase my credit card. The only reason you're not coming back then. Cut corporate taxes. Increase your insurance. Insurance reduction. The U.S. of course. Liberal support for the simple. Invest in the public. Invest in health care. The government wants to cut income for private tax providing. Revenue is truly bringing back tax from our American needs. Also, go back up to the doesn't solve inequality card. This card does not say taxation is key. This card just says that inequality is bad for growth. We answer on the case, but yeah, it's kind of shaped the bed by not reading the card that progressive taxation is key to. 
So at any point, they literally have card zero on this question. Now drop down to the now drop back down to the bad bad stuff. Their cards from a heritage hack and a Tracy Pauline made a clown of a gas in the cross and my timer stopped. Take this. Thanks. And I will concede the argument on the taxes today that taxes don't hurt growth. Oops, there's no internal link to growth because they said it's not bad. The capital is sufficient. VAT enables fully funding generous benefits while reducing corporate taxes. Parmelo in 15, Santa Fe, 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 Santa Fe,
also are CCP defensible answers. Now drop down to the CCP resilient defensible answers. The resilient defensible like the second to last card in the flow. Sorry, I'm jumping around so much. The, uh, it's resilient because our emphasis they can increase social spending and tax crises prove that the CCP is extraordinarily good and holding on power. It should be resilient in the face of process. That's genius. The alternative is total chaos. Everybody knows it. No resistance. He can 15 divided by body. Uh, CCP will win one of those overly gases. Lack of incredible alternative. They were very, 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 very,
We're stopped for clipping. We have 609. There's no single issue, something that's too soon because blacks want the deregulation is on the deregulation to realize the economic recovery for this session is the only thing that lets systemic risk like risky asset investments get out of control, which means the economy is resilient right now and only deregulation can take it. The McClock and Adam say rings about slow regulatory change so predicted they can see the plan will be faster because it's the only way for the it's the only way to get the tax base drop into finance and plan the faster relation costs the short-term financial crisis and resilience because he misses or to be in the 
Have you, I don't know if you saw yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, not at all. No. Can't pay any attention to that. Yeah, I am, like, the K was like a last second addition to yeah, the Lindsay. Yeah, I agree. Like, it, like as we were, as I was like leaving the room, I was like, he was like, do, do we have anything else to say? Yeah. Mm, but like, he was like, what about the K? Uh, I mean, is it just crappy stuff? Or like, is it just the chances stuff? Mm, yeah. No. Yeah, I yeah, mean, <coughs> so that switch to the two and C cards are, but I think the one and C is different. I think this is the one. Yeah, apparently, yeah. The 
the wiki just called it the late liberalism of his head. But it's really just a liberalism K. Yeah. Uh, T against uh, reproductive health act. And then the other debate. Slow growth. You said it was a mental health act? Uh, no, reproductive health act. One yeah. second. Bro. Neither do we were going to be so great. Yeah, the first one. Okay. That's two seconds. Two or spec. <laughs> or, or maybe spec. Yeah. So these are the only cards there? Yep. Economy. They've dropped that the U.S. economy is key to uh, support U.S. military power. That we've impacted during the circulation. Our money is misallocated. The Malloy evidence says the crowds are productive private investment. Only progressive taxes, fiscal insolvency, means uh, this net benefit to the Afghans and upon the corpse and unemployment argument that health care costs growth uh, cuts out the benefit of that empirically because they can't reinvest it back to the economy even if unemployment is low. Then historically, zero. Co- then yes, correlation between inequality and growth. Uh, the evidence says that it, it, it is a driver to the economy. The middle class is key to uh, power through, which means that uh, none of the flat tax uh, that across the entire economy is insufficient to uh, lead to productive reinvestment. The Malloy evidence impacts this and says it's inconsistent tracking growth and it undermines the foundation of the economy, which means that even if they want to short Right. It's not sufficient to take down the economy. Yes, it's sufficient to, tra- and then it, it, it's sufficient to trade off the other pieces of tax evidence. Just says that it increases productivity, increases productivity by increasing the amount of revenue for uh, the, the rich. But we've impacted that via the uh, lack of investment. They don't uh, push money back into the, the economy via consumption, which our evidence says is necessary to uh, power the economy. The uh, yeah, cost overuse argument gas. I answered this on every single uh, page and counterpoint. The uh, progressive tax independently is sufficient to solve inequality. Which they can see this big internal link that was in above the uh, provide, uh, providers' administrative costs internal link. They uh, dropped the argument that the, uh, the private insurers were no longer to, and that there would be no private uh, building departments, which is the largest uh, piece of administrative load, which means that we solve the biggest internal of the economy, even if they have to deal with uh, government bureaucracy. Our uh, will handle revenue says the Medicare is uh, inability streamlined, which means it uh, massively solves administrative costs, even though there's a little bit of load. There's no impact where they say budgeting fails, increases administrative costs. Uh, that was set above the rural economies, and then the advantage don't impact often supply sales or taxes. Uh, the, 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 the taxes paid for progressive taxes. Here, our evidence says if they're leveraged on virtue, it doesn't hurt the economy, uh, which proves that it doesn't apply to the pick the uh, Trump the, the, the arguments of Brandt's evidence says Trump is a speed bump. It's not our internal it's about an economic uh, power within the United States. Other countries perceive it as our ability to respond to. Uh, tax, which means where the worst of its consult manufacturing is key. It's about ability to sustain bases abroad and strength liberal, of liberal internationals and not third offset the pay. I'm going to start with the presentation to the, uh, to, to do both the Athens progressive financing mechanism, the counter plan uh, adds an additional tax, which proves it's not severance. And uh, we, we, we do the entirety of the one to see, we just add the uh, value added tax of the counter plan. The, per, uh, the permutation is still net progressive, uh, which means we're sufficient to solve internally. Yes, uh, uh, the, 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 yes, all of the funding might go to one fund, but it just uses two tax bases, which means we're still single payer. We still need that interpretation to prove that we're still progressive overall. There's no link to the net benefit, but if they're right that the permutation links to the net benefit, the counter plan certainly does because the uh, net effects are progressive. They lead to a perception of Congress that Congress that, uh, that, that, that it's net progressive, which uh, uh, and then a progressive policy in place. And Cost backlash to overall welfare system was reset. Uh, it would still lead to a push for deregulation because uh, Trump would be perceived as betraying his base there. Uh, all their regards by the European Union says because European countries have larger benefits for the middle class and generally less inequality, they're able to leverage a flat uh, tax, which reset doesn't apply to the U.S. progressive taxation plus plan reduces inequality. More than 15 percent tax and progressive thing reduces inequality in a different degree in nature. Such that these, yeah, the estimated Gini Gulf is a very large change in income. Anybody who's in situation of bad market income reduces more than 1,000 times to the borders of the one where the final income is about 66 times greater. Their evidence says the bad revenue fluctuates proves it links to net benefit for rural reform. The problems that can arise in this year. In any case, we change the business cycle, public revenue schedule, such a change takes place with future adjustment of public expenditure cuts, and expenditure is likely to increase as a result of that hegemonic constraint. Also, from the flood choice net more because uh, the middle class uh, income selection way, which uh, that permanently slows economic growth, causes political allocation, weakens incentives to work, and is massively aggressive. That's our Dubai evidence benefits only rise and replaces other taxes. Dubai 10, new advantage to buy only to replace all the other taxes. Congress added that uh, on top of other taxes, the advantage is to be able to substitute the increase taxes for the current system. Any problems in going to host a new complication into complications early answers that needs a hair to attack with the uh, Callahan and Cross success. The qualifications apparently don't matter. Big companies gain the bad that turns their inequality and proves some links in that benefit because they can evade it, Dubai and China, uh, fraud, it's just business engaging seeds, larger refunds, evading like an underground economy, no matter how well you say class stars, except those scans here being in your country, spending considerable that fraud, that you lose one to seven billion dollars annually and, and uncollected that. Also, their uh, links on the deregulation just that are about Bitcoin transactions, which they can't tax with the bat anyway because it's not uh, registered with the IRS. Just that. 
The two evidence of adverse testing at the top says the reason this time is different is because rates are low, but there too we see evidence on the rates they said said that yeah, uh, increase in financial sustainability which means that that's not a unique internal link and only our, our progressive taxation is solved yeah, even if the rate of uh, derivative trading is allowed. Regulations on leverage prevent that from permitting the entire economy, which was the lesson we learned from the 2008 crisis, because then it doesn't cause recession. If it does, it's so short term that it doesn't outweigh our internal uh, And then the, the argument about Chinese financial crisis, uh, the, the market responded positively to the last round of deregulation, which means it doesn't. We can see the impact defense, but the market responded positively to the last round of deregulation, which means their internal link is entirely uh, probabilistic. Now, important argument. And they dropped the wool handler in Diet of Thorpe and the game in Evans, which says that administrative costs make up for the cost of the tax entirely, which means that either the permutation of both institutions shield the link because they're, we don't need to leverage a tax, or there's only a risk of net offense reps because progressive taxes keep solving inequality in the short term. Now, uh, single parents partially financed by tax and financial trans transactions with soft deregulation, uh, and that was a piece of 2 evidence. Uh, uh, their only answer to that is, uh, is that there are loopholes, which applies just as much to the bad, and uh, uh, loopholes don't apply to evidence in 16 FIT, which was seen for tax and financial subject to detrimental growth. The undistinguishing risk is not useful economic to fits or desirable lot even with less than large each other that results in double increase in household income no one pay for transactions and that nobody is as good as tax on the scale of this income boosts or drop down to the Vegas space their evidence is laughable there's a reason they didn't read new link evidence in the one hour because it's non-existent and it outweighs the link there uh, two pieces of uniqueness evidence in the one uh, in the one hour say that uh, and then they say that Trump works through regulations now but he could also pass the legislation if he really really wanted to they don't have any evidence that says that the app is enough to change that attitude if he's really locked into non-deregulation is but their evidence doesn't say that it's just says it's small tweaks in the administration which, is, which proves that if that's true if that's really the way he's approaching deregulation then the app does not change that because congressional checks business all drop down to the revenue shortfall to make just so I don't drop it since Bitcoin leads to hidden transactions which applies just most of the account fund but all of our evidence assumes the efficacy of the uh, assumes how the tax would actually go down politically instead which have a massive and then a massive effect on financial transactions which is tradition so it wouldn't be wouldn't have prevented the OA crisis Spencer 15 top rank you can see effects of regulatory whether they do separate innovation you can recover loss which excuse me for choices to be black complex and without a banking cost and capital design unlike it's effort to much we run away to practice do little just the cost which was bad housing was a number so that our virtual response was less than a quarter of the problem crisis wasn't sparked by risk taking if it was out frank was insufficient also Proves that our interim link outweighs Wilson 15. They were going to link their the prices because they need to regulate some plus the regulatory. Janet Bates and her loan girl, they see that aggressive interventions was fallback through this letting actually received information from Duke. So it makes me a little conservative because Mr. Sam will be subject criticism. What? Just Connor quickly. Oh, yeah. go back to Connor. Has to be a voter to solve two easy examples in the second single push rejecting the argument makes it makes it kind of robbing two easy offense that ways because it shapes our strategy last chance for offense and they get the block any Netflix. This creates this cosmetic and unnecessary which was a decrease strategic thinking and practice creates more house for throwaways, which turns research logic without teaching arc and interaction dispo leads uh, lets them read as much as they want as long as they did enough work to defend it we can permit it which is preserves our flexibility. Six oh six. They also didn't put um, RS's new app up from last round because mm -hmm. whoever the scout was in the round 
put it up on their wiki as Medicare for All instead of Medicare Advantage for All. Oh, yeah, I saw that and I was actually confused by that. Yeah. And I worked for the plan and I couldn't find the plan. And oh, no, we yeah, do. Yeah, no, that's what I've seen. We wrote the plan on paper. Yeah. And then the Georgetown read this midterm governor sit down. Completely for this and sad. I love that. That's so amazing. NHU broke the hot new NHF camera plan. Yeah, plus the other insurance care. Okay, it's actually kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of a kind of fun thing. Deregulation DA. Progressive financing pick. Taxes DA. Good? Yep. You 
people inevitably decide that there are some some tiny small attempts at the compound and some risk that the, the DA turns the case with the tiebreaker for this space, that they drop the sanctions in fact, the international sanctions against all nuclear war, the bonus that says it's a critical tool for the US to influence international outcomes, stops for calcium powers, from exercising influence international otherwise will actually expand our regional prison influence and make nuclear use more likely or emphasis that hegemony doesn't solve this because hegemony has no ability to protect military power globally, so sanctions and economic power are the only way to maintain global support the bonus is fantastic on that says that China will become a business unless the US can access the international power of deregulation and crushes that because we can't have actually sanctions other countries because it puts US finances out of reach of the government because an example of deregulation is limiting government oversight of capital holdings so people can put their money in the US and not have it be oversight, oversight over, and, not have over, and not have oversight over it. Second, is a perception about deregulation putting the US out of step with the rest of the world. Often, national regulation makes sanctions coordination impossible, both in the evidence of the Twin Cities. No new two AR answers because the 1 AR because the 1 AR dropped this in Twin Cities based on what the 1 AR did. Because the 2 AR because the 1 AR didn't answer. It's enough for you to tie in. It's enough for a tiebreaker, even if we win. So, it's a certain case chart. But now, the deregulation, the deregulation does collapse the economy. This evidence, uh, it definitely turns the case. So, the speaking, the regulations make the economy resilient to shocks like health costs with a plan rolls us back. So, there's only risk of financial money in the world of the, of the negative that are voting in front of us. Back to the economy triggers a sharp contraction that destabilizes markets. It's true evidence is phenomenal. Besides regulation, we don't have any defense that prevents collapse, cause the reemergence of shadow banking and increasing speculative investments. We have unique disorders that the markets are fragile now because they're trying to absorb a tech revolution and they have not contested the plan causes fast deregulation. The short term is slowly to get the tax base of the plan, which is especially bad because it forces fast deregulation because there's an economic necessity to have high necessity and necessity for there to be high inequality because you have to maintain high high incomes for the high incomes for the for the for the rich because the tax base is so small. The rates the rates are because the one says that if some increases in interest rates down that will not restrain that that will not restrain financial markets if deregulation occurs which offsets the increase in rates rates means that the financial supporting financial supporting decrease the ones the evidence is far far better than any of they have any of those they have that have any evidence they have on this question it says that there's a short term steps that the market's cause to collapse quickly makes a financial price likely to turn solvent they don't have a good answer this wealth tax increase perverses that perverses them to keep inequality high because the government needs an upper class to maintain revenue actually crushes solvent in loopholes like offshore bank accounts and putting money in the income instead of wealth as our margin the margin limits are overwhelmingly better on the catastrophic dynamics created by progressive taxes that make social spending impossible. They have no evidence that assumes that political fees the admin cost argument. The evidence they read about admin cost trading off of taxes says, says that businesses will end up spending less, like small businesses will end up because they don't have to pay premiums and they, uh, they don't have to pay premiums which will offset the increase in taxes but the plan has progressive taxes. Most super, super rich people don't pay a ton of money in premiums now so the plan hits them with a new tax and causes a sacred shock and causes deregulation. Their evidence does not say that we don't have to spend any more money for the plan. It just says that the cost to businesses would be the same which is not the same thing. The federal government still has to spend more money because admin costs are not being footed by the federal government. Now the plan nationalizes all health so they still have to spend money and have to fund it through progressive taxation, which the plan leads to. The, the, the plan leads to the financial transaction tax. It proves our argument because it means that there will be a, a tax on financial transactions. So there will be an impetus to deregulate, to maintain money in financial transactions, which is what we said causes deregulation, which linked turns the case. Our office also said the financial transaction tax failed because there is no way to affect the those transactions. Our office whenever it's actually happened, it's failed. Our office is purely speculative. Doesn't account for those political incentives. The political incentives are the next to the unique to one flank. Our are just wrong. The evidence is fantastic. Our uniqueness and said, fantastic. Our uniqueness are uh, uh, linked and said there's a massive motivation to deregulate after plan because there's a necessity to keep income high. I think I've heard that a bunch of different times there. They have no piece of evidence for this. It's just asserting that there's, if there's no deregulation now, there won't be after plan. Our evidence is latent momentum for now because some Democrats have already reached a slight deregulation. Trump wants to do it in theory, but our evidence is that getting Congress on board necessary. It's only the plan gets Congress on board because they agree. Because even progressive Democrats realize the value of keeping the tax base on the, uh, tax base on the rich very high. But with evidence is fantastic. And they have card zero on this question. The last argument is Bitcoin. Bitcoin doesn't take out our battery because, big, because most consumers don't know how to use Bitcoin. Only the rich do. Which means it subverts the plan tax, but not the counter plan tax. Only the plans or the compound tax, compound tax create a, 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 a compound tax create a sustainable funding source of 2008 cards, just like Dodd Frank did in because it was about the housing bubble. We have a link to broader deregulation and our evidence that the, that the system is stable now and new deregulation now is tax market because it causes, it causes insecurity and, and uncertainty, which is way better about new deregulation rather than purely, purely past looking. Progressive count, progressive pick, you can get the compound forces with the permutation because it was conditional, it, it, because it was conditional, that's enough. Uh, you can still vote negative because the, the DA turns the crap out of the case. Permutation both doesn't make much sense because there's one single pair of system finance, but the federal government has to plan we find that both progressive and progressive taxation. We have the only evidence on the debate and they've on the question of whether it becomes neutrally, neutrally or regressive or progressive. Our evidence has become neutral, so the one single piece of the system plan would not be net progressive. So the permutation is severance out of the plan saying progressive financing. They agreed in the one yard that there was one single payer fund after the plan is funded by both regressive and progressive taxation. We our evidence is that this net result is actually more regressive because consumption taxes fall more on consumers, which means that the, 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 the net result of the permutation is a regressive kind of not progressive, which means they sever out of the word progressive in the plan. We all agree that there's one single payer system after the permutation. So that's enough for you to go to the I've also rejected this extrapolation because the treaty just says the word permutation do both not enough for us to anticipate new explanations. Kampan doesn't link to that net because even if the Kampan is net progressive, there is still no motivation to deregulate because the middle plan is no, no, no motivation to deregulate because you don't have to maintain the incomes of the wealthy. It's not political trade arguments, but the economic necessity of maintaining high incomes of the wealthy. We have the only piece of evidence about that question. The, the, the inequality arguments. The Kampan solves inequality because the net results of the Kampan is progressive because it has more 
money going to the middle class because it reduces, it reduces health across the one ECF is also says that health care costs to keep trying to the point they have no card until the one ER that says that they're necessary to solve an important one ER card that says income and the tax is reducing the quality not enough to that they're necessary to solve the one ET card that co pays and deductibles the key so they can't quantify solving steps relative to the relative that the VAT fluctuates argument doesn't answer argument because even if the VAT fluctuates the response to that will not be deregulation because uh, the VAT falls on consumers so deregulation doesn't do anything to increase consumer uh, spending consumer de 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 decrease consumer spending the next uh, color uh, color is not gaming the, the VAT's not bad for the, not bad for growth they, they conceded that it causes a decrease in corporate taxes they what what it can even cause the decrease in corporate tax codes, which does replace the, the tax, so it's efficient to solve the economy. You just now, it's good for so ideological flexibility to enforce the mobile strategy district to buy box the FBA to enforce the defending entities and trading to the other ways they can run the ideological left to right. Trading to be bad, it's the bigger second. The second is Netflix, they'd be able to shift after the 2C because they get inherent advantages like add ons to 3D gap pages. Netflix that way, the FBA to choose the route of the bait and has the was choice to want to slow pay until the 2C. So uh, the more often necessary to solve the argument of responsibility because it forces the FBA to possible for their office. The company solves health care costs as well as the everyone does. So it solves the case and well, it's just that solve because they can force the negative straight check the negative forces to go for the extra five minutes to be okay, we have 210. No, you're fine. So it is. Econ, the pick, deregulation. All right. Cool. 
The fact that there's no impact events means you know that economic collapse is inevitable because slow wage growth means that a recession will happen because it will spiral out of control and healthcare costs. There's no uniqueness war, which means that you know the economy is going to decline no matter what, which turns the sanctions impact because it undermines our ability to use economic leverage in order to influence the policies of other countries, which is a warrant that's not tied to hedge, it's tied to growth. Um, it's tied to growth. It also means that the efficacy of economic sanctions is much lower because the economy writ large, writ large is collapsed, so countries don't have an economic incentive to maintain be invested in the global order, the hedge impact, we access it, they cause a short-term blip, a short-term recession, we can come back from that, but if we don't have strong wage growth, and wage growth because healthcare costs structurally screw the economy, then, I'm sure structurally screw the economy, then, 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 then that's an external impact, now, an external impact, now the, the pit. Don't kick the counter plan for them. Conditionality doesn't justify it. One, it splices the two-hour time allocation. Um, time allocation because they have to be in fundamentally two different, different worlds, which is unpredictable. Second is that it results in judge intervention because I can't predict whether or not you'll kick it, which is fundamentally unfamiliar fair for me as a debater. All their justifications for conditionality do not, all their justifications for conditionality don't justify it, which is ideological flex and a neg flex, but that's not a reason for why the two-AR has to be impossible. Now, the permutation, I'm going to go for it. Does Doing both is able to solve for that net benefit. It, even though it goes into one system, we just raise a shit ton of money. A shit ton of money. Their fund argument doesn't apply for it. We use regressive taxes and progressive taxes. It doesn't sever anything in the plan because it includes progressivity and regressivity. This logic of severance that they afford means that every app would lose to a counterplan, which is extra topical because the permutation would in include an element that is outside of the resolution, outside of the resolution, which means we're still it was, it was able to solve for the net benefit because it creates a sustainable funding stream, stream. Even if it's still net more progressive, it raises double the tax revenue, which is sufficient to solve. Um, sufficient to solve because Democrats and Republicans don't think that they have the pressure in order to raise taxes in the future. I'm gonna raise taxes in the future. I'm gonna raise taxes in the future. And don't worry, it's not a new extrapolation. The two ACs said perm do both. It solves a net benefit and so I'll expand on that in the one year. That's the natural course of how an argument evolves in the debate. Now, it links to the net benefit. If we win this, it take means you should vote. You should vote app on presumption because you can't judge kick the counter platform. The framing for it is you should not evaluate on a sliding scale. It's a yes, no question. Either people in Congress freak out because they don't have the funding or they don't, which means that if there's more than a 50% chance it links to the net benefit, you vote app. Now, a couple of warrants. One is revenue fluctuation. Their own Vario evidence, which Saul read the conclusion of, says that's fail in Europe because the change in the business cycle means revenue is unreliable. That creates the same incentive to deregulate the economy to generate funding if they're correct about the link to the dissed. Now, the second is fraud, which the tuner is exceptionally light on as he tries to get to conditionality in time. The Dabney cards say that big companies will game the VAT. They'll evade it by going into the underground economy, which means that it triggers the same sort of Bitcoin sanctions impact as they want, uh, that they talk about because they leave the formal economy and they can't solve for their impact. Sub point A that proves that it results in more financial fraud, which means it undermines the economic system more than the app does. Sub point B, it proves they can't solve for inequality. It wrecks the funding stream, which puts all the burden on poor people. And they didn't extend any of their inequality defense on case, which means you know it's the largest internal link to the economy because it's key to wage growth and educational attainment, which is necessary to sustain skills in the 21st since the 21st century. Now, the other word for why it links is the Bitcoin argument. Their only answer on the, the Bitcoin argument, large is this what? Where's the big one? Oh. Uh, the second part. The second part? Okay. The dubious evidence says that VATs in European countries and false claims of taxes paid for refundable purchases. The false, the false invoices are endemic and results in $107 billion annually in uncollected revenue. It triggers the same perception because rich people are the only ones with the technical and legal expertise yeah, yeah, yeah. able to gain. Anyone can use Bitcoin. Oh yeah, anyone can use Bitcoin. Their answer is literally an assertion by Callahan and the tuner. People don't know how to use Bitcoin. It's extremely popular. Um, Vivith bought fucking Bitcoin and he doesn't know what's going on in the economy. Actually, he probably does but know what's going on in the economy. But that just proves the accessibility of it and the recent boom and bust of it does too. Or the recent boom and bust of it does too. It doesn't solve for the inequality advantage of the app. Yes, healthcare, healthcare costs are one of our internal links up to the inequality, but the one ER card that we read was dropped. It says that progressive taxes are necessary to change the Gini coefficient and decrease poverty within the United States. This a solvency deficit operates on a sliding scale because it means the economy is more likely to experience a shock in the world of the counter plan, which triggers the same impacts of deregulation, which means you mitigate net more economic risk by voting affirmative or for the premium uh, or for the permutation. Now, the last argument I'm going to send, I'm, uh, let's go to the deregulation stuff. At the top, there's not a sufficient answer to the admin cost argument. Saul spent some good time here because the 2NC dropped it. You would not have to increase taxes for the affirmative by a substantial 
amount because admin savings, negotiating drug prices, global budgeting, etc. all means that we reallocate where the salt red and the two AR says that we can craft the token tax in a way to avoid that. And if there's a loophole, it proves that the impact is inevitable because people will use Bitcoin to get around the tax. It proves that status quo financial regulations aren't sufficient to prevent an economic crisis. I am confident that this takes out the exist at there's 0% chance of it. And you can vote app on presumption. The 2008 was not caused by Dodd-Frank. It was caused by the housing bubble, which proves deregulation is not a sufficient internal link.
Assault. Mm -hmm. See Amaman and Fazari is a 2 AC, and then Woolard is the 1 AR for progressive key. Uh, I read. One second, sorry, I need to grab the class. I think I put them in the order that they were read. Do we read it in the progressive tax is key? Do
The decision is a three over the bag for the room. Uh, I can go first. I think that Northwestern is very far ahead on the disad. Um, and I think that frames a lot of how I think about the debate. Uh, I think there's a very, very large risk of the sanctions impact. Um, I think the two AR explanation for how you access that is kind of a little bit too little, too late. Um, I don't think the one AR really has any think on this impact, really ex any explanation of your internal link for why you would solve this that I think is founded in anything that 2AR uh, says. And even if I grant you that, I think that there's like an additional internal link to this impact that I don't think you access, which is the like sanctions harmonization argument. Um, and so it's necessary to shape the global international order and prevent global conflict. I think that's more effective than hegemony alone. I also uh, think that the neg is sort of on the net right direction on the question of whether or not regulations, uh, or deregulation hurts the economy. Um, I think that even if you win that deregulation or that regulations could not have stopped the 08 financial crisis, anything like that, um, I think that they're ahead on the question of whether or not rolling back those regulations in the short term would cause like riskier financial decision making. Um, and so even if it would not have prevented that crisis um, and may not prevent every future crisis, that it would precipitate a short-term crisis because it would incentivize um, risk-taking that the regulations as they exist now serve as a deterrent to, even if they're not perfectly effective. Um, and so I think that that turns uh, the economy impact um, in the short term. Uh, I think that deregulation is constrained by Congress now. Uh, and I ultimately think that they're winning a link. I agree with the two in our analysis that your EV is just not quite good enough on the magnitude of like, <laughs> cost saving versus the amount of taxes. The existence of those progressive taxes would likely trigger deregulation to ensure those taxes are brought in uh, with enough income to cover the cost of spending. The your EV, a lot of, a lot of your EV is about reducing costs across the board, um, which means including in the private sector. And so the AF still requires the government to take on a vast amount of spending in the short term. Um, which triggers the perception that uh, there won't be sufficient funding without deregulation. Um, the counter plan debate is kind of weird. Um, the permutation debate is like super weird because I think that sort of imprecise language in the counter plan text and the plan text in terms of what these taxes mean and look like means I'm more sympathetic to the neg on the permutation debate. The reason why is your evident, your, the terminology that's used in your plan text is progressive taxes, which is not a specific tax, but rather a direction of taxes. And so by the permutation becoming neutral on that question, I do think it severs the app. I think that if the plan text like said a set of taxes that then like you read cards that were like, those taxes are progressive and solve progressive taxation. Like I would agree with you that like you can have a bunch of different taxes and like the, the, the permutation doesn't have to be like net progressive in a world in which the plan text does not say the term progressive taxation. Um, so I, I agree with the neg uh, on the, the severance argument because I think you have to defend the direction of those taxes. Um, 
even though I think you're right that that would cause some fluctuation in revenue, I don't know why that fluctuation would be sufficient to cause deregulation. Um, I think they're winning that it's distinct from, the counterpoint is distinct from the AF um, because it creates an, a, dist a distinct incentive to protect the wealthy tax base, uh, which are people who would be more likely to benefit under deregulation. Um, and I don't know that I think either A, that your evidence goes far enough uh, on the question of why progressive taxation is uniquely key to solve inequality, nor do I really think that the 2AR has an explanation for why inequality is uniquely key to solve the AF. And I think that's like probably the, one of the biggest places I think that the 2AR uh, is maybe lacking in terms of solvency debating on the counter plan is like not just why progressive taxation is key to inequality, but why inequality is sort of like the unique uh, and key internal link that uh, they have to they have to be able to access in order to solve large swaths of the F. I can go or no, go for it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, so my decision is really functionally identical to Val's. Uh, I vote negative because I think the counter plan solves the advantage and the impact to it. Does not link to the net benefit. The perm likely severs and a risk that sanctions impact outweighs. Um, so I agree with everything Val said about case impacts. I don't think that you win that their impacts are structurally inevitable to the degree that sanctions coordination becomes ineffective. That's ultimately the impact that I end up voting on as well. And I think that it's hard for you to win that you turn this sanction stuff, especially because uh, there's also just like this flippy argument on the dissent that's like, JR concedes that regulations breed economic resiliency, and the 1AR, I think, also doesn't really have an answer to this. And it's not really a huge argument, but it's in the block in the 2 and R. And I think the 2AR actually kind of bolsters it by your argon case when you're like, you know, we can come back by from a short term recession, but I think you conceded that that's only true because of effective regulation, which means that I think that the external impact of the perception of deregulation wrecking sanctions coordination is an easy tiebreaker. Um, so, for the counterplan proper, don't think it links. Uh, I think that. Echoing everything that Val said, I think the explanation that 2AR ends up kind of just like missing the forest for the trees in the sense and that I feel like you're going for the, you're conflating like the counter plan triggers the same impact as the disad with, you know, it links to the net benefit, which makes it kind of hard for me to give you the, give you this threshold because I, even if I think that they may result in, you know, like net less effective regulation or loopholes or whatever, I'm not sure why that means that it, you know, creates the, political momentum for deregulation. And I don't think that, that explanation is nearly there in the 2AR enough for me to conclude, give you this like, you know, yes, no app on presumption framing. Um, I do think you have some game on the like that causes fluctuations, loophole stuff, and are doing decently on like that causes a lot of the bad stuff that they say the plan does. But I don't think, like I said, you really explain why it links to their perception link argument because it's about whether or not the plan slash counter plan is perceived as progressive or regressive tax. Um, I think you need more of a like, you know, this volatility or whatever would require expanding the tax base to the same degree as the F or whatever. And, or like, you know, even if taxes aren't expanded for rich people, the counter plan would uh, expand them so much for poor people that it would require just as much deregulation, something like that. Like you have the bare bones of in the 2AR, I think, but not nearly enough, which makes it hard to air F on that. Um, also, in for the another thing that helps with that is that I think the 2AR can see this F framing that's like, the VAT fluctuations only impacts consumers slash living standards, which I think is ultimately ends up being supported by all the cards that you read on this question. And I can go through them individually, but uh, I think they all end up saying that uh, VATs would make impact inequality cause social cuts, which gets to the question of the solvency deficit, but I don't think that it has a read, the 2AR has a reason why that implicates the perception of who the counter plan is taxing. Um, so does the counter plan solve inequality? I think it does, or the AF doesn't, number one. I'm skeptical that the AF can solve because I think there's a pretty decent amount of turns case arguments on the disad. It's like the plan bakes inequality into the system in order to sustain the tax. Uh, more relevantly, I do think that they solve. I agree with their framing of your evidence that progressive tax that it's, makes it sufficient but not necessary claim that progressive taxes are sufficient but not that they are the only tax scheme that works, which is true of the Gini coefficient card, which is the one that the two AR extends for this. Which both of these two combined makes it hard for me to say that they are lower on the sliding scale of this solvency deficit then you are or at least like you know distinguish that um the the perm uh agree with val on this uh i'm a sucker usually for vague perms or a voting issue but i do think that they explain the perm and the two we see a little bit more than do both but i actually kind of think that i don't know the way that you explain the perm does mean that it severs i like i don't know i feel like they're kind of two errors kind of missing the boat here and like the severance arcs are about you're making about like extra topicality just like seem i don't know like just like disconnected from what's the arguments that they're making. They're like, you know, this changes whether or not the app is directionally progressive or regressive because the net tax revenue is different. 
and the all your art is about like having one single payer fund proves the link and i just don't think that those distinctions are ever really answered i actually like went back to go look at the 2AC argument uh, to like see what, what you said on the perm, and I actually think that the argument does bolster the severance art, because it says, you say the counter plan means we, or the perm means we don't need progressive taxes, which is a phrase in the plan, so yeah. Uh, so <coughs> um, the disad then, I talked about, or talked about the sanctions impact itself. I think that the perceptions thing, the perception thing makes it a little bit different uh, from all of your inroads into it, uh, slash, you know, your reasons why the counter plan might cause it. Uh, I don't think that AFS admin savings sufficiently replace taxes to avoid the link. The two and hour response to the steric card, which is the only one you have for this art with this distinction that's like, you save money for businesses maybe, but that's different from saving money for rich people that, um, and you still have caused taxes on rich individuals and that distinction isn't really answered in two AR. Uh, don't think a Tobin tax solves the link. You may be able to craft it to avoid loopholes, but like I said, I'm not really sure what the impact to that is outside of inequality slash uh, an economy impact, which I think that they have a structural cap on uh, due to regulation being effective. Um, and I don't think that your impact in the context of the economy is quantified. And like the 2AR, you're, you're waxing rhetorically quite well on the like, you know, this makes the impact inevitable stuff, but like you get to the actual like deregulation doesn't solve part of the debate, which I think like just like way too little time. You're just like, oh wait, it wasn't because of Dodd-Frank housing bubble and then the timer goes off and it's like, hard but like I, I just like need more quantifying vis-a-vis -vis their impact especially this like perception internal link about just like whether or not we have you know a new wave of deregulation that crushes momentum right now um that's everything i got written down um callahan whatever it is you're doing keep it up yeah, the 2nc was really really good yeah, it took me like I guess a longer time to figure out the exact same thing that Val said. So like I pretty much agree with all that. Um, the two like things that I said here thinking about the longest were, were the the perm. And the reason is like not because I think that the well they introduced this kind of like idiotic two financing things means it's severance because the point said single, but obviously you're not talking about where the money comes from, you're talking about the stream of financing. So like, I get why the 2AR kind of like honed in on that question, because that was like the worst part of their answer to the perm, and you were like, well, using that model would be bad. But the 2AR, I thought kind of pivoted to be more like, you know, just about severing the term progressive. But I, like, the, like, the plan, after the act, you're not required to defend a progressive tax structure. You're required to defend progressive financing or single payer. So that, like that was going to be my question. Like you, you know, yeah, it's like <laughs> the perm that you want is like progressive financing for single player payer plus regressive taxation. Period. And then like you've completely solved the like fear of where money comes from arg. The wealthy can no longer say that they're the ones that are being like un like only the ones being attacked by attacks like maybe there's still a link to the DA, but that perm I think is like a lot more threatening versus this and you got little parts of the two era that kind of made me think that that's where you're headed, but that's kind of not the two era that was given. So I thought a lot about that. And then I thought like a little bit more about just like this sanctions thing is so dumb, like so bad that I was just kind of like looking for a solvency deficit to vote for something else, but couldn't even really come up with it. So I thought solvent, you know, DA, not humongous, but big, I guess, in the sanctions level. Um, I'm, I'm not really convinced by your ev that the existing regs are going to really solve anything. You have a good argument about regulatory rollback, but that doesn't really answer the question. I don't think like it, you still have to be say that those things would solve in the SWO. Like I guess the logic. I don't quite understand the logic of like if there's a rollback, that means that we're not protected against like the, whatever like capital requirements banks have, but we're not protected against those things now. So I don't know. I, I, that, I had some trouble with that one, but the sanctions thing just being, ended up being big. I think. Yes, for your two AR, if you cut admin costs, perm, and links to net benefit, and way more on that bad, I think it's like better for your ev. There is good. Uh, they like no quals are needed, and they don't really have a card that says that the vat is good. They just have like cards that say the vat can fund single payer, but they don't really have a card that's like it can actually. It's like that it's not bad for the economy. I think maybe that maybe that's a two AR that could be kind of given. Um, yeah. Okay, sorry. To I 
I also think that like the 1AR framing of this argument is like all of your evidence about like Scandinavian countries doesn't presume that they were like already pretty equal before they implemented a VAT, which like I think that argument is like super persuasive in framing how I should think about like imposing a new VAT on the U.S. market. Um, and so I think I, I just, that was like just an addition to like I definitely agree with Berger that more VAT VAT would be. And the only other thought that I had was like, I, I was sitting here thinking about what happened if a VAT fluctuated. If you had a card that was like, that requires expansion of the VAT and that causes inequality, or that that fluctuations leads to corporate taxes and that triggers the DA, I need like an impact to it. Because they have like a very clear impact to what happens when corporate tax fluctuations ha happen. And they're very good on it's not the same thing that happens when a VAT fluctuates. Um, just for future reference when thinking about counter plan competition. Um, if the plan says using progressive financing, does that kind of lock us into that net direction every time with the perm if we don't make Bricker's perm? Because like the way we envisioned the perm was less like, we're still progressive, but we just also included that. But just like, yes, the part of the perm that includes the plan uses the progressive problem financing. Is that, like, the like, and this is like, I think the problem with like the imprecise nature of the language that both the plan and the counter plan text use, which is like progressive tax is not a tax. There are different types of taxes that can be progressive. There are different types of taxes that can be regressive. Mm -hmm. But like if there was no, like you could not pass a bill that was like do progressive tax, right? It would have to be like here are how the like the types of taxes that we would do. And then you could say like the net effect of that is that it is progressive or the net effect of that is that it's re regressive. And so by using the, the, the term progressive financing, it just makes it like it. I don't think it necessarily locks you in, but it, I, I feel like their comp, their competition argument is more compelling because <coughs> like the nature of that term is a question of direction and not a question of the specific tax that you implement. Mm. So could we say something like that describes the direction of the tax enveloped in the plan, and then the counter plan describes like. Regressive describes the direction of the tax of the counter plan. Well, and I think that the, the, what you should say is just like the question of what the tax does. It, it shouldn't be a question of how the tax like ultimately affects the economy, but the intent of the tax. I.e., like the intent of a progressive tax is to be like more you know higher taxes on the wealthy, lower taxes on everyone else. Like the intent of a regressive tax is to be you know less you know the opposite of that, and to just be like it shouldn't be a question of like do we net like solve progressivity in the economy, but whether or not the type of taxes we create are progressive versus the type of taxes they create, which are regressive or intended to be regressive. And then, because anything else requires a like, you know, wonky mixes burden solvency debate about the ultimate direction of those things. And so it should be a question of the intent of the taxes rather than the outcome of them. I also think that just like semantically, I feel like you could even, I, I feel like you honestly you can just make the argument like, Plan tax says using progressive financing. It doesn't say using only exclusive. Yeah, yeah that's so just be like, yeah, just yes, be like, if we had so. said only in the plan or whatever, this would make sense. But there's like nothing in the plan that makes it mutually exclusive. Or, you know, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, random other thing. I think in the two and cross X, you should just not respond to any of his questions about the disad. Just be like, that was a nice speech. Like. <laughs> That's gonna be in the one R. Like he's obviously just trying to make new arguments, right? Like you're following, yeah, like you're falling into the trap on. of like the two AC. Maybe we think our two AC arguments are not that good, so we're gonna spend all of two NC cross X making new arguments that we then will read cards on in the one AR. And I just feel like, dude, like I didn't extend this this in the two NC. Like if you want to ask questions, like it's not my, it's not like it's not my fault that you didn't make good answers in the two AC. Like you don't get to make a bunch. You spend my, spend cross X making a bunch of new arguments about something I didn't talk about. Also, just other trouble we're going to decide, there's a pandemic flu impact in the 1AC. The 1C did not answer on the 2AC. It was just talked about it again. In all honesty, the counter plan problem is still Yeah, we did our best. We pivoted really early. On the rural hospital demand. Yeah, okay, that's true. That's true. Sorry. Shit happens. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Great to meet everybody. Good luck.